Put your best shoes on To see what it's all about But you're never gonna lose on Yeah, you make me wanna shout out Try to win double quick Like a rocket to the moon I'm automatic, cold static, everybody's a fanatic, this poison in my blood, feels so wrong but tastes so good. See the jet plane hot in the sky. Everybody's looking at us. All know why. Systematic. I'm automatic. Hi everyone, this is my video for the Face Awards Top 20 Challenge, Machinist. I hope you like my interpretation of this challenge. I wanted my machinist to repurpose his scrap metal and bring something new to life by creating this metal sculpture. Before we get into the tutorial, I want to let you know that voting is now open and you can vote up to three times a day, every day until June 21st at faceawards.com and it would mean so, so much to me if you would vote for me. You have no idea how much I want to move forward in this competition. I'm starting this tutorial by moisturizing my skin first and I'm using the Vichy Mineral 89 Face Moisturizer. I'm applying this all over my face, my neck and chest and this is going to help my cream products glide on a lot nicer and smoother. I want to conceal my eyebrows for this look so I'm applying a layer of glue, I'm letting that dry for a minute and then I'm going over it with the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It powder. Now I'm dusting off the excess and after this I'm going to apply this shade from the Color Correcting Concealer Palette and I'm applying it with my fingers. This will help conceal the color of my eyebrows and now I'm just setting that concealer again with some powder. Using the NYX Epic Ink Liner I'm tracing some random patterns on my face. These will be the little gaps and holes that are usually left after the metal has been put together. Next I'm taking this NYX Silver SFX Green Color and I'm applying it with brush number 10 all over my face, making sure to avoid the areas I have outlined. Now I'm taking the Prismatic Eyeshadow in shade 10 and I'm applying this on top of the SFX cream which acts as a base and is going to help my eyeshadow look a lot more intense. Using the NYX That's The Point Super Edgy Eyeliner, I'm now filling in all those blank areas on my face. And after that I'm taking the NYX Epic Ink Liner again and I'm tracing some finer lines on the sides of some of the bigger black areas on the face to make it look like they're holes. Now I'm applying the NYX Nude Matte Shadow in shade Stripped 
all over the areas where I've applied the eyeliner. And this is going to help the black look more intense. And I'm also mixing some of the black with the silver just to fill in those edges. And now I'm taking an angled brush and the black eyeshadow and drawing little dots and lines in random places on my face to mimic the little scratches and imperfections in the metal. Next I'm taking this shimmery white eyeshadow from the Avon Pop Arthra palette and I'm applying it with brush number 33 around some of the black areas for more dimension. And now I'm going to use the NYX white liquid liner and I'm going to highlight those areas even more. Now I'm moving on to the neck and chest area. And I'm using the Epic Ink Liner again to trace and connect some random lines. And I'm not too worried if they overlap or if I make some mistakes because I'll be cleaning some of these up here in a second. I'll be wiping off some of the extra lines or some of the lines where the pieces of metal connect to make them look like they're welded together. And this is what I'm using. It's the Vichy One Step Cleansing Micellar Solution. And I'm putting that on a cotton swab to clean up any mistakes or any of the extra lines. Now I'm just filling in the lines with the SFX Silver Cream Color. And on top of that, I'm going to apply the silver eyeshadow again to give it more intensity and make it look brighter. For the black areas on the neck and chest, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in shade Black Bean. And over that, I'm applying the matte black eyeshadow again, just like I did on the face. I'm taking the same shimmery white eyeshadow I used earlier to highlight some parts on my neck and chest. And over the same areas, I'm applying the white liquid eyeliner. Here I decided to cover up my ears as well, even though I was pretty sure they weren't going to show through my headpiece, but I thought, well, let's do them anyways, just in case. <laughs> Now I'm also applying the silver cream and eyeshadow on my lips. And now I'm moving on to the last part of the makeup, the eyes. I'm using the NYX Treasure Lee Black Eyeliner to align my waterline or lash line and also on the eyelid to create the shape of my new eyes. And during this process, I'm taking pictures with my eyes closed to see if they look even or to get an idea of what changes I need to make. Once I was happy with the shape of my new eyes, I went ahead and filled in the blank areas around the eyes with the silver eyeshadow. Now I'm taking brush number 28 and the black eyeshadow and I'm creating my new crease and I'm also doing some shading under my new lower lash line. As a finishing touch, I'm applying some white liquid liner around my new eyes for more dimension. And now is the time to put on this very heavy headpiece that I made by cutting up and sewing over 50 feet of metal chain onto a wig cap which I made out of duct tape. It was definitely not an easy thing to do, but this is the result. Hope you enjoyed this look and the video. And if you did, please don't forget to vote every day until June 21st at faceawards.com. I would appreciate it more than you know if you would vote for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.